there, this is Royanna with Ruby Ribbon and I wanna teach you how to complete your measurements for the Fit Finder in order to get your perfect fit with a Ruby Ribbon cami or demi. First off, you're going to want to have a soft tape measure. Now, if you don't have one, don't panic because I can also give you some other tips on using a dollar bill, using your phone charger and the sizing app on your phone. Don't worry, but I want to show you where to get the actual measurements from. Now, we talk about your anchor and that's going to be where your broadband would be. It's important to make sure you've got the tape measure parallel to the ground, pull it a little bit snug and then hold your finger right here and you'll see that number. Mine happens to be 37. And then you're going to do the bust, the fullest part. Ladies, this needs to happen with some semblance of a bra on. If you don't own any bras, if you're just wearing, you know, um, camis, a tank top, something so that the breasts aren't down here or you're not going to get any kind of an accurate measurement at all with that. And again, pull it a little bit snug, especially if you're wearing padding. And mine right there are 44, which is what I knew that it was. So this is your anchor, this is your bust. When you're completing the fit finder for your stylist, you will see pictures along the way guiding you through this process. Now try to find your natural waist where you normally would wear your pants or if you tip to the side, kind of where that little divot happens again, we're always keeping the tape measure horizontal to the ground. And so we're gonna go ahead and pull just a little bit snug, especially if you have some clothes on. And then we've got our stomach tape measure, 41. Hips is at the widest part. If you happen to have um, a, a, you know, a bottom that kind of goes out a little bit in the back, try to do it right about here because this is where the cami's going to land. The reason why we want to know hips is because certain camis have a certain stretch in them and so we want to make sure that we are getting a cami that's going to go around you and keep you tucked in the best. And so I'm kind of pulling it. I always put my finger at the end of the tape measure, my finger right there, it's a 44. So I'm a bit of a rectangle with my uh, measurements from top to bottom. Again, please remember to have something on, a bra, a sport bra, something that's going to have the girls up off the belly. We don't want any boobs on the belly at all. And then you also are going to be asked about your torso length, and there's pictures for this. So when we talk about putting your hands to measure your torso, please stand up, don't sit down, and don't do spider fingers. So if your hand is going to be up here under the top, it's going to definitely be a short torso. You probably know that if shirts are always long. If your belly button is underneath your middle hand right here, right by that pinky, that's an average torso. And if your belly button is an inch or more below that bottom pinky or lower than that, you obviously have a longer torso. Those digits are very important when you are fitting out, uh, filling out the fit finder for your stylist so that we can get you the perfect fit. We look forward to helping you break up with your bra very soon and getting you into a ruby ribbon cami or demi.